careful. Definitely need some better tires than these slicks. Black people don't normally do stuff like this. Super dark here. Can't even see my yo welcome back to the channel boys and girls in today's video i want to talk about the five mistakes or at least the five things that i wish i knew when i first got into cycling so i'm gonna talk about the five mistakes that i made and hopefully these tips can help you if you are new to cycling oh and by the way if you are new to my channel my name is patrick lino and i am a cyclist here in chicago who does bike reviews i build bikes and if your grandmother is upset or disappointed that i have yet to call her back to take her on a date to applebee's my Apologies. It's just only because the list of grandmas that I have to take on a date is very, very long. So without further ado, let's begin. So mistake or tip number one that I made when I first got into cycling is not properly eating nutrition, food, either before my ride and even during my ride. Now, if you guys like me, if you've ever bonked, you know that that feeling feels terrible. You feel like you wanna die and that you wanna just end your ride. And I realized the reason why I bonked my first time was because I just simply didn't eat enough. So make sure that for all you new riders out there, make sure that you are properly eating before your ride at least a couple hours prior and make sure you are doing so during your ride as well so even though today's ride is just kind of a chill ride i make sure that i always keep food on me so i got these uh, fig bars here which i absolutely love here and i got these things from wiggle yo these things are a freaking game changer um i'm not endorsed by wiggle but this stuff is awesome it's easy to sort of pound down it's not too gooey and it just sort of uh <laughs> slithers down your throat but yeah Bruh. always keep food on you guys so that you don't bonk like i did the first time i went out on a long ride i also forgot to mention that today's video is sponsored by the lovely folks over at the pros closet a big thank you to the pros closet for sending me out these envy uh, gravel wheels these are their top end uh, NVG23 gravel wheels. They've been amazing here, but unfortunately these wheels do have to go back. But don't fret guys, because I do have some new wheels that are, are going to be going on my Yolio gravel bike very, very soon. Now, uh, if you are uh, new to the post closet or you haven't heard of them, they are an online retailer that sells a slew of new and uh, pre-owned uh, bikes wheels components anything you need to get your bike up and going on there and they're always running uh, promotions throughout uh, the warmer months here so I'll be sure to link their uh, website down below but yeah guys let's get on with the video and tip number two is our mistake that I made when I first got into cycling is not properly inspecting your bike before you go out on the ride now this is very very important for a lot of different reasons because you don't want to have any sort of catastrophic failures or mechanicals when you're out on the road so some of the things I always check before every single ride or at the least at least every other couple days is number one is I always check the tire pressure so with these I'm running um, 32 uh, seat tires so I'm have these about 45 psi but make sure to always uh, check the tire pressure before you go make sure that your brakes your levers everything is in working order uh, also make sure uh, i got this backwards here but also make sure that your gears and everything is properly indexed and of course make sure that you keep some bottles of water on you maybe check the bolts things like that but you always make sure that everything is working as sh as it should so that you do not have any mechanicals out on the road let's continue all right guys and tip number three now this is going to cause a little bit of contention but number three mistake that i made was not training with power now the reason why this one is important to me and this is a mistake that i made early on is that when you start training with power you're able to gauge your efforts and you can sort of determine how long and how hard you're able to go out on the bike so even if you're a casual rider say you want to ride say 100 miles or 160 kilometers having a power meter is going to be so helpful because then you'll be able to gauge how much of an effort you can sustain for 100 miles and i think this is a really important point that a lot of people miss especially when you start getting into some some of the higher efforts and you end up either bonking out or you're it's not an effort you can sustain so my suggestion for newbies out there is to get a cheap power meter out there and start training with power ah uh, look at that view guys it is such a wonderful day here out in chicagoland so this is one of the forest preserves not far from me you can see we got some single track here um, and we got some other other sort of trails in the background so since i am on my gravel bike today it probably only makes sense that i go give this a whirl hopefully i don't crash um 
Now, let me just quickly talk about uh, the wheels really quickly. Um, since unfortunately, like I said, these wheels do have to go back. And I do want to thank the Pro's Closet for sending me these out to try for these last couple of months. They've been wonderful. They're super lightweight. Uh, the hubs on here, these are the uh, Chris King hubs. They're phenomenal. They, they just feel so smooth, um, unlike any other wheels that I've had. But they're super lightweight. Um, they accommodate, of course, uh, thicker tires. I think up to whatever width tires you need here. But these are definitely premium high-end tires here now obviously at $2,500 they're not exactly the cheapest gravel wheels on the market but you definitely get what you pay for so anyway let's go out there let's get some uh, some, some trails going let's uh let's see what it's like down there let's continue it's a cardinal it's a cardinal oh come on Look at that, we are down by the river. I don't see any vans around, anything like that. Yo, so this is my first time doing single track. Um, is this what this called, guys? Let me know in the comments down below. Is all this called single track? But yo, this is pretty cool, I have to say. Um, it is pretty sketchy here. I'm out here riding like a grandmother or like a newborn here. I'm riding probably like five miles an hour because I don't want to eat it. Um, but yeah, these tires are pretty cool. Um, I do have some thicker knobby tires that I'm gonna uh, put on my next set of wheels here because these are just 32 slicks but yeah this is pretty cool this is so so scenic here and this is why i say it's important to have some recovery and relaxing rides at least once a week on your ride if you want to because look at this i'm now me being a roadie guy i'm always just hammering it out on the road and i do have my recovery days and things like that but this is my first time ever being down here and this is amazing like this is so different than how i would normally ride and i really need to do a whole nother video on just a gravel bike and the reasons why you need a gravel bike which I, I will explain that in a, a long longer yoligo video but yeah this is super duper cool here so yeah let me uh let me show you guys what's going on here all right let's continue this is so cool black people don't normally do stuff like this do, 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 do. try not to eat it here it's also kind of muddy we're doing it until we're not doing it Sheesh. definitely need some better tires than these slicks but that's okay we're just experimenting here. Oh my God, I suck. My wife is going to kill me when I bring this bike in the house with all this mud on it. She's gonna kill me. Just don't wanna crash. Here we go. Here we go. Now nah, we're doing it. Yeah, let's turn around and go back the other way. Alrighty guys, tip number four, which is make sure you always carry a set of tools when you're out on the road. Now, this is just as important as tip number two, where um, you wanna make sure that you are able to fix any or the majority of mechanicals or flats that you may have out on the road out by yourself. So this means having a quality set of uh, hex wrenches, maybe carrying some CO2 cartridges, uh, some fixer flats or patches for your inner tubes as well as some spare inner tubes So let me pull over and I will show you guys what I always take with me on every single ride that I ride Regardless of whether or not I'm running tubeless or uh, inner tubes. Alrighty So this is everything that I keep in my uh, toolkit on every single ride regardless of whether or not I'm doing tubeless or uh, Inner tubes as well. So I keep a spare inner tube. I uh, keep some CO2 cartridges as well uh, This is sort of the mechanism to release the CO2 I keep a tire patch kit as well, some uh, tire levers, um, some helen, uh, hex keys, whatever they're called, allen wrenches, whatever. And I also keep this multi-tool kit. So this is everything I need to fix a flat and any sort of potential mechanicals that I might have out on the road. Let's continue. All right, guys, and the final tip, tip number five or mistake that I made as a new cyclist was not taking enough recovery or relaxing bike rides. I know when you first get into cycling, it may seem like all you want to do is hammer on the bike every single time you get out there on the road. But honestly, you could potentially be doing a lot of damage and um, progression to your fitness. So every once in a while, even if you're not training to become a crit racer or anyone like that, it's just a nice reminder to always make sure that you implement at least once or twice a week some sort of recovery ride or sort of a chill ride where you give your body and your muscles a chance to sort of recoup all of the damage that you put into it when you are out there on your harder efforts here. So today guys, I'm on my gravel bike and for me, the gravel bike is really a nice way for me to basically just take it easy, to enjoy the scenery. Today, it's a really nice and sunny day here in Chicago and I'm able to just take in the scenery. I can hear the birds singing. I don't hear any gunshots, no police sirens, nothing like that guys. So remember, always make sure that you 
keep at least one or two uh, recovery rides during your training week. No, I'm just, I'm farting around today. I'm not doing nothing. Eric Muhammad. Eric Muhammad? Yeah, how you doing, brother? Me, Patrick. Yeah, yeah Doran. Doran. Nice to yeah, meet you guys. Pleasure, yeah. You guys looking good, man. You guys hey, got some strong legs. We're trying to build some We're trying to build some, uh, some carbonates. We see like you. Yeah. <laughs> we see you. We see what you're doing, man. And I appreciate it. it. Loving every part of it, man. Yeah. So that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. I really appreciate the support over this last year and a half that I've been doing this channel here. So be on the watch out as I will have more gravel content for you guys soon. And I'll also have some new wheels for you guys so that I'm able to do a full on review for my Yolio uh, G21 frame set. So as always, guys, if you have any questions, comments or concerns, please feel free to leave them down below. And I will check you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.